The reason for the season might be more important than ever this year, with so many churches across the country forced to cancel in-person services because of the Omicron surge. Joining us now, Pastor Robert Jeffress of First Baptist Church in Dallas, also a Fox News contributor. Uh, Pastor Jeffress, you know as well as anybody, Americans are tired of this virus. They're tired of masking up. Yes. They're tired of being told they can't do certain things. How are we supposed to handle it? Well, look, I believe COVID is a very real threat to people's physical health, but I also believe that the isolation and disconnection many church members have experienced over the last two years threatens people's spiritual health. And we just saw that last week in a Pew Research poll. Fewer Americans are praying than ever before. Fewer are identifying as Christians. I think this is the fallout of being disconnected because of this pandemic. And to me, the answer to all of this is to get vaccinated. I mean, vaccinations don't guarantee you won't contract the virus, but they pretty much guarantee you're not going to go to the hospital or die. And last week, we had a full Christmas service on Christmas Sunday. President Trump was with us, and the reason we felt confident in coming together is the vast majority of our people have already been vaccinated. So I would say for your physical and spiritual health in 2022, yes, get vaccinated but get back to church. We yeah. all need it. Yeah, we, well, we do. I, I will agree with that. But, you know, there are a lot of people out there who say, well, if there's a God, how come he allows this pandemic to go on? How can such uh, a terrible thing be unleashed upon the world? Well, it is a good question, but Jesus was very honest when he said in John 16, 33, in this world, you will have tribulation, persecution, problems. He talked about pandemics when he talked about pestilence. That's the bad news. The good news is that baby born in the manger 2000 years ago, the Bible promises that one day he's coming back to eradicate evil forever and recreate the world the way God meant it to be. And that's the ultimate message and hope of Christmas. Yeah, and, and Christians have to, um, uh, you know, abide by the rules of their elected leaders, um, even if they don't like them necessarily. Wearing masks to church or maybe, you know, social distancing or even some churches uh, are being closed as a result of the virus. Well, it's a small inconvenience to wear a mask if that's necessary. We desperately need to be back together. So I hope we'll do whatever it takes to do that. And if churches shut down, they won't do so for a long period of time. I think people are tired of it. I think we're suffering the spiritual ramifications of that. It's time for us to get back together. Uh, so what is your message on this Christmas day of 2021? What do you want to share with the world? You know, 2,000 years after the birth of Christ, we're still calculating human history by that event. I mean, next weekend, we're going to be saying 2022. We're saying it's been 2,022 years since the most important event in human history, the life of Jesus Christ. And the reason Christ is so important is he offers us what we could never offer ourselves, the forgiveness of sins. Somebody said if our greatest need had been for money, God would have sent an economist. If our greatest need had been for an education, God would send a teacher, but our greatest need was for forgiveness, and that's why God sent a Savior. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. That's the hope. That's the message of Christmas. He changed the world in just 33 years, and like you say, he's coming back again. Pastor Robert Jeffress, yes. we really appreciate you coming on tonight. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Thank you for having me. Merry Christmas to you as well.